So I made my rat video, I ought to do this for a long time, right? So uh, here is my oldest boy, he's called Eclair, and uh, many of you are probably familiar with him already if you're a fan of the channel or the page. Uh, he is almost uh, two and a half years old now, I, um, he was born in May of 2015, and um, yeah, he used to be a little fat, but he's lost a lot of weight because of uh, aging, so uh, now it's, uh, it's kind of slender, and uh, he's still pretty active for a rat his age. Uh, he's still, uh, yeah, in good condition, and uh, actually uh, he had some tests, like blood tests and, uh, and all that, done at uh, the vet clinic recently, and uh, he's in peak health condition, which is uh, quite admirable for a rat his age. He's kind of depressed personality, because, uh, well, the fact that he's old means he's lost a lot of friends. The average um, rat life expectancy is two and a half years old, so he's getting there. He loves peanuts and yogurt and uh, taking naps and he loves his friends he loves cuddles and uh, yeah that's about it he, he can nap everywhere I've seen him nap in awkward positions on shelves on the floor on anywhere this guy is nap master and uh, that's basically it for my boy Eclair this big boy right here is one of my oldest boys he's uh, almost two years old now and uh, he is Romarin and he used to be the jock of the mischief. Like, he used to be the real sports guy. Uh, he has a lot of muscles. I, I can feel it right now in my hand. Uh, one time I, I saw him lift and carry a bag of apples that was like three or four times his weight. And it was like around, he, he uh, the transport box, you know, the, the plastic transport box that I used to get them to the vet. Uh, he can push and uh, open the, the lid, uh, which is uh, quite an impressive uh, physical feat. He is a really... Uh, really muscular and uh, that's uh, that used to be his characteristic. Now that he's getting old, uh, he has uh, some health problems that prevent him for, from running and jumping around as, uh, as much as he used to like, so he's become a big napper and uh, yeah, he spends most of his time napping now. What else does he like? Uh, he likes cuddles a lot, he has a lot of, lots of friends and uh, he, he loves hanging out with them, he's never alone, he hates that. And uh, yeah, basically uh, that's it for him. And uh, he has a, a physical characteristics uh, that's I, I think it's uh, quite a, a <clears throat> unusual and, and pretty cool. I, if I can get him to stand still, he never stands still. His one is always in motion, except when he's yeah. See, he's got kind of a, a, a white line under his chin that looks like a like he's wearing a tie. Can you? Yeah, I love this. Uh, that's my boy Romara. Here is my boy Fenouil. Uh, despite the fact that he is almost two years old now, Fenouil is in peak condition in terms of health, and uh, that's really, really cool. He is really healthy and energetic, and uh, also he's one of the he's one of the cleverest boys I have. Um, and uh, yeah, he used to be the, the ruler for a long time, but uh, now that he's getting old, he's stepped down. Because in rat society, uh, you cannot uh, you cannot be a, a ruler if you're uh, past a certain age. It's always the youngest that are the the, the, the chiefs, the, the CEOs, the bosses. And um, yeah, that's my boy Fenouil. Uh, he is the biggest food lover in all of the mischief. Like there's. No dispute, he loves food so much, too much sometimes. Uh, may, sometimes he, he attacks uh, his friend because they have a bigger piece of, uh, I don't know, meat, or vegetable or uh, whatever than he has and uh, he can be a bit annoying uh, because of the food. But apart from that, he's really, really, really nice. Uh, he's the healer slash nurse of the mischief. Like when one rat is uh, ill or feeling not good, he's the one who uh, goes to comfort them. And uh, that's really nice. Uh, he can be a bit of a prick sometimes because he likes power, and sometimes he, uh, and he, he, if he can see an opportunity to uh, go up in the ranks, he will uh, mm, catch that. Not always in a nice way, but uh, he is really nice with the other rats most of the time. So we all forgive him. That's my boy Fenui. Say hello to the camera. He's a really cool guy. And he loves to climb too. I've never seen a rat love to climb as much as, as, as he does. But you, you put him anywhere, like a bookshelf, 
uh, the, the drawer, uh, any any piece of furniture, he will climb it and go to the top. That's that, that's he loves that so much. That's Fenugi. This one is my boy Guda. He is uh, about one year and a half now, and this guy is the alphaest of all alphas I've ever had. He is strong. He is fast. He has a lot of authority and he has ruled the whole mischief of rats for a really long time now, since he was a little kid. He's been the, the big boss of, of rats for uh, yeah for quite a long time. So uh, this is Gouda, he's uh, really cool, he's really clever and uh, he is nice too. He likes tranquility, he likes peace. He likes uh, being left alone a lot of the time. Is uh, most rats are really social, but uh, this one enjoys uh, the company of uh, himself more than most rats usually do. He is quite nice, uh, except when he is in a bad mood. He's, uh, this kind of rat who has big moods, and uh, basically that's it. In, in uh, uh, oh yeah, what he loves most in the world is uh, is food. So uh, yeah. He big, uh, you know, kind of a glutton, um, and uh, he is, yeah, he is passionate about food. That's my boy Gouda. This is Lardon, my boy Lardon. Uh, he is almost one and a half years old now. He's, yeah, he is about, about one and a half. And uh, he is the most moody of all of them. Sometimes he's really chill, sometimes he's really uh, angry and stressed, and he can vary really fast. And really a lot, he's a really moody guy, and uh, yeah, he, he changes a lot uh, ev uh, every day. Like uh, usually, uh, he can he can be really chill in the morning and uh, and really pissed off in the, the afternoon or the other way around. Um, what else? Uh, he is uh, he's the most social of all of them. He uh, he loves to make he loves to make friends. He's been like that since he was a little kid. He's a real socialite. And he he, he he always tries to be friends with everyone, and um, to have a, as much as m to have as many rats around him uh, as he can. He, he likes being in in, in, in groups and uh, yeah, having having other rats around him. And um, what else? Oh, he's afraid of water. Most rats love swimming or don't mind a, a good bath once in a while. This one, uh, put him near any tap or basin or any kind of water and he will scream his lungs out he is deadly afraid of water and uh, that's really really weird because usually most rats like yeah they love swimming and uh, he he hates it he hates water so much and uh, yeah that's my boy Lardon this young boy right here is called Cookie uh, he is one of my four youngest uh, he is about six months old right now and uh, yeah, he's kind of uh, he's kind of annoying. He's a really emotional rat, so he's all, uh, often stressed. And uh, when he was younger, he tended to uh, overeat to compensate. So he was always eating. It was kind of funny to watch. But he never became fat. You can see he's absolutely regular sized and average. And um, yeah, he's kind of an, an, an annoying. And he's, he tends to be. Startled, startled really easily and annoyed really easily, and uh, he bites. So uh, usually pet rats don't bite, but there are always exceptions. But uh, he's really nice with the other rats, so uh, it's fine. He's, uh, he's a big friend with uh, Eclair, and that, that's that's pretty cool. And uh, overall, he's pretty chill. When he finds out that there's nothing to be stressed about, he tends to calm down quite fast because uh, he's kind of a clever boy but yeah he's um, he tends to be uh, really stressed when he doesn't know what's happening when he's figured out that he's not in danger he, he calms down a lot so uh, that's about it for a cookie loves uh, food a lot and um, taps and here is my chubby boy Mocha uh, he was called he was named Mocha because when he was a baby, his uh, the color of his fur used to be this uh, this deep uh, uh, brown with a hint of black that really looked like a, like a mocha. 
and uh, now that he's aged and he's basically an adult, he's around six months old, he's one of my four youngest, uh, he... his fur is, is, has gone a... a, a yeah, brownish-gray or grayish-brown, uh, and basically he eats a lot, so he's uh, kind of chub-chub-chub-chub, and, and kind of fat, but still, he, at his age, uh, it's not really uh, a concern because you know he still might lose it and uh, a lot of rats uh, go to through a, a chubby face around six months old between six and nine months old and uh, it's 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 normal at his, uh, at his age and um, yeah what does he like what does he like uh, he, he loves cuddles he's always cuddling with his friends he, he loves naps and he loves eating he eats a lot uh, as you can see and uh, yeah, he likes fighting too. This is quite a little fighter. So this boy right here is uh, Donut. He is my uh, original boy. He's one of the four youngest I have. He's about six months old. And uh, yeah, his um, his particularity, his uh, distinctive trait is that he does nothing like the others. Uh, first, he became adult real uh, real late. He has. Um, not physically, but mentally, like, you know, the rats have a hierarchy and a society uh, with a lot of established rules and, and, and codes and all that, and he, and he, it, it took him a lot of time to, to get into that, he stayed basically a little kid hanging around for a long time, and he, he, liked, he likes to do weird, weird stuff, like, I don't know, walking, a, climbing at the top of the, the, the cage or doing silly things, sleeping in, in weird positions and uh, eating food like, I don't know, backwards. Uh, apart from that, he's a really, really energetic, like too energetic sometimes, and it's, it's kind of hard to contain, uh, but he, he's nice, he's, uh, he's, he's really playful, he loves to play, that's, that's what he loves most, playing and fun and games. He was named Donut because he used to have a, a black a circle on his head that looked like a donut, but it, it's kind of went away now, so it's mostly gray and white. This guy right here, this little guy, is Pancake, and uh, he is smaller than the average rat, and he looks really tiny, but man, he is powerful. He is the co-alpha, he rose uh, to the, the alpha rank at a young age, and uh, he is not really physically powerful, except that he's really fast. He's a, he's a he's a champion runner. I've never seen a rat run as fast as this one does, and he jumps really high too. And um, yeah, apart from that, uh, he is he's chill. He likes humans. He likes uh, hanging out with us, and uh, you know, <clears throat> being a big baby. Uh, he's very. He likes he likes cuddles a lot. He's a really cuddly one, and uh, he's a very he's very clever too. He's pretty small, but he's pretty cool. That's my boy Pancake, gray all over. First time I see a rat gray all over. Uh, in the past, every time I, I, I've I've gotten a rat, no matter what the color, they all have a white belly. This one is 100% gray, and uh, yeah, first time I see that. <laughs> 